Hey, hey, farm and friends, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another Farm and Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase slash Tutorial. Today, we're going to discuss how to use the Lily Juno 150. And there's no better place to do that than right here at our dairy trough, for our ladies have made quite the mess. Now, what is the Juno 150? Well, it's this cool little device here that is going to help keep our farm nice, neat, tidy, and clean. Now, in real life, this is a feed pusher. The bottom skirt rotates around, and this device runs up and down in front of the feeding area and basically pushes all the feed back back towards the cows because in most dairy operations you don't have this lip here there's actually a bar here that keeps the cows from coming out they feed through it and as they do they push the feed out this device runs up and down and keeps that feed nice clean and tidy and pushed back up towards the cattle now in our case it's actually going to suck up all this discharge and help keep us clean so we can stay more productive now there's two pieces to this mod which can be found on the mod hub by going to farming-simulator.com or just open up your game click mods and you'll find it listed under the latest mods there are two pieces to it there's the charging station and the actual device itself now if you visit it in the sh in the store we'll go to animals and that is where we will find the Lee Lee Juno 150. It's $12,000 to purchase it out. It has a $120 a day maintenance cost, goes three miles an hour. It does include a charging station. It works with all these different fruits. As you see at the bottom, cleans the feeding area with less labor. Angle sets the movement radius. Blinker button shows the alignment guide. Start the helper at the center in front of the trough. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, then we come up to placeables, and this is where you'll find your charging station. It's $120. It generates $5 a day in income. No uh, maintenance costs. So basically, this is there to cover your maintenance costs for the device. Now, it doesn't actually charge it because there is no real charging per se to it, uh, but it is there more for looks. It adds to the aesthetics of it and... Uh, then it also gives you that offset for your maintenance cost. So uh, how to use this thing you approach it hit E just like you would to get into a tractor You start it just like you would start a tractor and you'll see that the skirt starts to rotate and It is showing everything is good to go as it said you turn your blinkers on by using my left blinker It shows me the alignment guide for the front and rear. I can steer it just like I would a tractor I can drive it around in circles if I want to and uh, I can drive it right into all of the goodness and suck it right up now that's that is the front guide and then the right uh, blinker is going to show me the side guides which just shows me its effective area so how much it can clean so in theory I can come down here drive up to this wall get everything placed up into place and then I could just drive up and down this lane and I would get all of that uh, discharge I would get it all cleaned up in one fell swoop which is very very nice now you can run this manually or you can run it with hired help now the design of this is to run it with hired help and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now so we're going to move it back out because I don't want to mess with cleaning up any of that stuff until we actually demonstrate how it works um, with the hired help. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. Now the transport feature of this is pretty cool. You hold down your left, right mouse and if you move your mouse to the left it opens up this hatch and gives you a transit bar and if I jump out of it and walk back here to my tractor and start it up I'll be able to use the front loader here to pick this thing up and move it wherever I want. Now again, I could drive it this little short distance, but as far as like getting it from a shop or moving it from one facility to another, uh, that's going to be done using a front loader. So we'll just pick up to the front of it, we'll attach it, and then I can raise and lower it and move it into place uh, however I want. So let's go ahead and pull up here. One thing I haven't done is tried to, oh yeah, you can. Now for positioning, I'm gonna pull this thing up here and I wanna get it right in the center. And again, using my blinkers, 
and it's selected as the tool, I can take this and I can put it right in the center here. I just want to look at where I'm at. And I want to get this placed. So, you know, in theory, you could place this one time, never have to mess with it ever again. And you could just have it automated all the time. So that looks pretty darn good right there. I'm going to go ahead and lower this down so that it's on the ground. And as you can see, it is sucking things up for me right now. I'll go ahead and disconnect it from the tractor. And it pushed it out of the way a little bit. That's all right. We can go ahead and uh, get it and set it up and let it do its thing now. All right, so now that it's in position and you see it cleared up a whole bunch of this, I'll go ahead and right mouse and mouse to the right to close that hatch up. We'll go ahead and start this thing up. And again, I'm going to get my guide here. And I just want to get this thing straightened up and centered because I don't want to do this. I want to let the hired help do it. So I'm just going to turn it a little bit so it looks like my grid is parallel to the front of that trough. And that looks... Well, that looks pretty good. That looks all right. All right, so let's get it centered up here just a little bit. There we go. And I'm just using WASD to drive it and, and steer it. And with that about right, I hope it's right. Maybe just a little bit more like that. All right. So with that in, in place and centered, we need to change our angle to a basically tell this thing how far to drive now i've tried six thousand and six thousand seems a bit long for this i think five thousand is going to be about the right distance uh, but you can see by changing it we'll start off kind of slow low let's start off at about um 500 and so you can see the distance that 500 travels and then i'll let you uh see the rest of it so We've got our angle, we've got it positioned, we think this is the right place, we hit H and let it do its thing. The hired help takes over and drives it just like it would a tractor. And basically what it does is it goes 500 one way, 500 the other way, and then it comes back to center. And it just repeats that whole process over and over and over again until it cleans out the area and it just would keep this area clean now 500 obviously is not a long enough distance to cover so we want to expand that out and this way it covers the entire distance so we'll let it come back to center and uh, when it does we will go ahead and redo this let's get it right there and we'll go ahead and expand this out and i think 5000 is going to cover this entire facility so with that done, we'll go ahead and hit H and we'll let it do its thing. And this is slowly but surely three miles an hour going to work its way. And I can jump out of it now. I don't need to actually sit in it, but we can watch it and it will slowly but surely pick up all of this. I want to watch the distance to it. Yep. It's going to go all the way down, pick all of this up and it's depositing it back in to the feeding trough. That should stop right about now. Oh, it's going a little bit further. 5,000 might be a bit much. Okay, so maybe 4,500? Mm, yeah, 4,500 looks about right. 4,000, 4,500 probably is more appropriate for this area. All right, so it's going to switch directions, and now it's going to go back down here and feed this whole, uh, clear this whole other area. Now, make sure you have it close enough to the food trough also. Uh, I have a little bit of overhang into the food trough so that as it's cleaning up, it's depositing it right into the food trough. One thing I noticed earlier, if I was a bit further away from it, it would clean the area, but it would hold it within itself, and then I would have to actually go deposit it somewhere else. 
Oh, there's more feed coming out. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, so we'll let this get to the end. And it's going to actually come right about here. Because we've got it going a little bit too far. But yeah, no longer do you have to sit here and keep constantly cleaning this area out. You can just set this on the ground and let it go for you. And let it run. And you don't have to worry about it anymore. Which is a beautiful thing. I don't, know, I don't notice my money going down. Uh, so I don't see that the hired help is actually costing me money. Uh, so as far as expense wise to let it just constantly run, I don't see any expense in it. So that's kind of nice. If you can let it run and it doesn't cost you any revenue and the charging station is actually offsetting uh, your maintenance cost on it, then this is a nice little device that you can set up one here, one at your pig area, one at your sheep area, and you never have to worry about actually coming over here and scrubbing the area uh, to keep it clean. So anyways, it's located on the mod hub. Again, you can get that by going to farming-simulator.com or you can visit the mod hub through the game by clicking on the mods tab, download it, and uh, check it out for yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Lily Juno 150. Maybe it's something you want to add into your game to help keep your dairy or pigs or sheep clean. I think it is definitely a cool little addition uh, to farm sim. I'm liking it. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you smack that thumbs up button for me. Uh, share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do try to do new videos each and every day. So come on back and join us again. Until the next time, everybody, stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.